Hello, everybody, and, uh, well, there's still no any news on Narnia Web, and, uh, as you guys obviously may know, a couple weeks ago it was announced that Netflix is going to be doing, um, uh, doing Narnia as a both a film and TV series, and unfortunately I was not very happy with it, and I thought I would explain why. Because, um, um, next Friday is actually going to be the premiere of when, um, Disney's The Nutcracker and The Four Realms comes out in theaters and Joe Johnson and Mark Gordon worked on that film and uh, they probably will talk about um, talk about Narnia while they're at the red carpet and I want to make this video explain why I don't like Netflix joining Narnia and I'm probably gonna have some mean comments or I'm gonna people are gonna say you've already you've already said that in your previous video but oh well I'll just delete I'll just disable the comments is it okay so there are actually uh, two reasons why I don't like Netflix joining Narnia uh, mainly because one, I I'd rather see them in cinemas because they actually because if I see them in cinemas they kind of like drive me into it like I'm actually in in the movie you know kind of way and two, I'm starting to think the C.S. Lewis's Narnia series aren't very suitable for feature length projects because if you think about it the other adaptations couldn't finish the series in the same continuity they actually filmed Lion the Witch and the Wardrobe four times but still they could never get to the last battle and. And now Netflix is going to be making it a TV and film series? But there's one thing I don't understand. Why would they want to do both? Why can't they just make all of them as a film series? Or better yet, make them all as TV series? Wouldn't that make more sense? And the thing is, it's just I don't like it when people just throw random stuff that doesn't make sense and just all of a sudden it's there. That's, that's how I feel with Joe Johnson when he says, the, when he says um, everything is new. This is the beginning of a brand new trilogy. There are four books that need to be adapted into films. So why the heck would you call it a trilogy? I just, I don't like that. I just, I just want a solid yes or no statement to the question, is the Silver Chair a reboot? And the thing is, we don't even know if, if they're actually going to do the Silver Chair film. And no one's talking about Sony being involved with this film. And that really doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Because TriStar President Hannah Magella says she loves the Narnia series. She was happy to join in. I just really don't understand it. I just, I don't like that. I just want answers. I want, I, I just want real answers. Okay, hello. It's called a Q&A. Give us some real answers. Hello. So, and I'm sorry, but it just bothers me that they just automatically put something there that doesn't make sense. I mean, this is not like Alice in Wonderland. Because, I mean, the story, that story is not supposed to make sense. And, uh, and as I said before in my, one of my videos, um, I probably won't be ever... And as I said before, I don't really watch any film, any Netflix series, just mainly the ones that were aired on TV or came out in theaters. And I obviously will not be watching the live action TV series Avatar The Last Airbender because I, I enjoyed the animated series and I'd rather stick with it. Because I absolutely, and I absolutely hated the live action movie adaptation that M. Night Shyamalan did. He completely ruined it. I've also heard a couple years ago that um, BBC is going to be making the His Dark Materials trilogy into TV series. That I'm actually interested in. But the problem is they may not be released in the U.S. where I am. Because, I, I mean, I have watched many British shows um, on, on the internet, mainly on YouTube, like The Vicar of Dibley and Merlin. I enjoyed uh, the show Merlin a lot. But, of course, there has been a film adaptation of the first book, the, the Golden Compass, and I was very disappointed with it. I hated it. And it's definitely one of the worst. It's definitely right next to Narnia, The Voyage of the Nature on the uh, worst movie adaptations. The Last Airbender is the number one worst, and next to that is Britannic, which is the worst movie ever made of a historian. But we still don't know whether or not the Silver Chair is going to get made. We don't know whether or not if they're actually going to start over and do Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe and make that as a film, but we just don't know when. But we probably, so we'll just have to wait probably until sometime next week when Joe Johnson and Mark Gordon are at the premiere of The Nutcracker in the Full Realms. But if you if you guys like, like Netflix joining Narnia, good for you. I'm glad you're gaining the adaptations you want. I hope they're great for you. But all I'm trying to say is that this is a wrong idea to make both a film and TV series. But as I said before, I still won't stop making videos um, whenever there's news going on about Narnia. And, um, yeah, I meet new people along the way. But anyway, that's that's all for today. And um, I know this video is a bit crappy, but to be honest, I really don't care. I'm, I'm still not happy with Netflix joining Narnia. But I'll try and make it up to you guys by showing you some bloopers of me messing up. I hope you guys enjoy them, and I'll see you guys hopefully next week. And uh, bye. And I better do it um, right now because um, I think... Because if, cause if you go... They actually... Ugh. And two, I'm actually starting to, to, and two, I'm actually starting to think that C.S. Lewis is Narnia adapt. Okay. 
sorry, it's, it's, and I'm sorry, it just, it just, it just bothers me when they just automatically put something that are. I've also heard. Sorry, my cats are fighting. I've also heard a couple years ago that. Ne <laughs> so, I'm really so anyway, but I'll try and make it a be.